Namaste and Saat Sari Akal. Yay not Bollywood, hey, but things are a little bit different today. No, it's not just me covering up my Glastonbury hairdo or indeed my new husky voice from Glastonbury again. No, the difference is we are outside, here on the streets. But where am I and what am I doing here? You're just going to have to stay tuned to find out. For today's episode of Nat Bollywood, I'm going inside the biggest Gurdwara outside of India. It's called the Sri Guru Singh Sabha, and the reason I'm going inside, two of the biggest names in Bollywood at the moment are going to be in there. We've got actress Sonam Kapoor, and we've got director Rakesh Omprakash Mehra. Along with them, a security guard uh, who seemed to be struggling a bit with the idea of a head covering. The writer of the film, Prasoon Joshi, He's the guy in the glasses, not the old guy in the grey fur trapper hat getting in everyone's way. And also present, the flying Sikh himself, Mr Milka Singh. The film is inspired by the true story of Milka Singh's life, from childhood through to adulthood. <laughs> Sonam Kapoor plays the role of Birao. But who exactly is she? Sonam tells us more. It's a very important character in changing the person that uh, Milka Singh Ji becomes. It's embarrassing talking about it in front of him right now. Farhan Akhtar plays the role of Milka Singh. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it to the Gurdwara, but we did catch up with him on the red carpet, so stay tuned for that in just a moment. Anyways, back to the press conference and director Rakesh Omprakesh Mehra. I, I think there's a Milka Singh in all of us. There's a Milka Singh in me, there's a Milka Singh in you, there's a Milka Singh in a housewife, a school teacher, a student, a cook, a pilot, a lawyer, a doctor. You forgot butcher, baker, candlestick uh, maker. Anyways, next question. Could you tell us which bits are based truly on fact and uh, which bits you've got artistic license uh, with? Obviously, when you make a film, the, the medium of cinema in itself is dramatic. The audiences worldwide are looking at that and they're investing their own emotions. You travel a different journey. I hope I've done justice, even if I've done one person justice to cinema or what he did to athletics. I'll, I'll, I'll be blessed. Milka Singh is in fact a living legend. He is currently still the only Indian male athlete to win an individual gold at the Commonwealth Games. And in the same year, 1958, He'd also won gold in the 200 meters and 400 meters at the Asian Games. Amazing. Which is exactly how I felt when I got the call the very next day, inviting me and the Nat Bollywood crew to the red carpet VIP screening of Barg Milka Barg. Here I am for Nat Bollywood outside the Mayfair Hotel. I've made some new friends. We are here for the red carpet, or rather, the red doormat for Barg Milka Barg. Boys, what are you going to be doing this evening? Running. And what are you going to be doing? I might do a little bit of running. Okay, what, is it, what does it sound like? Yes, they really were that loud. Thanks, boys from Drumline. I'm not sure my hearing's ever going to be the same again. And the footage, amazing. I mean, it's a great market to be made. Mm -hmm. Milka Singh's a huge, huge uh, inspiration, inspiration to you. Icon, you know, being Punjabi myself, you know, having represented us. The Olympics and so on and so forth for Akesh or Pakesh Mira. Again, flying uh, the flag for us as a BAFTA nominated director. And I'm hosting the evening as well, so I'm looking forward to meeting everyone and having a good evening. Have you learnt your lines? Uh, there aren't any lines. I don't I do not do lines. I do that as my day job. I don't do that when I'm doing my night job. <laughs> Even though he hadn't the foggiest what he was going to say, at least Amit was more clued up than ZTV's Asad Shan. Why are we here this evening? I have no idea. Why are we here? Bag, Milka Bag. So this is a film about Milka Singh, who is a Sikh legend, Indian phenomenon. How many Punjabis have you ever seen running? None. And he's the only one. It's not a sport film. It's about human spirit, how his family got, you know, they were all killed during partition, and how he rose above that. Is it going to be a Bollywood film, in inverted commas? I believe there is dancing. He actually said he danced. Yeah. When he used to go back to the army barracks, yeah. they would actually dance. They would lift him up. Yeah, they would, well, in a more manly kind of sense, as army guys would do. But I've got a feeling there might be a little bit more romantic dancing in the film. Hopefully. 
And we'll be dancing, like, you know, in the road. Together. Will you be doing any running? <laughs> uh, oh, no, we're well not running away from the yeah. We're expecting to sit a lot this evening and watch it. Yes, the only runner this evening will be Farhan Akhtar, who plays Milka Singh. And I think he's running a little bit late, because next up on the red carpet is writer Prasun Joshi. Followed swiftly by athletic director Rakesh G. Rakesh, nice to see you Rakesh. again. How are you enjoying London? Wow, it's a sunny day. Is it true you were also an athlete that represented India? Uh, junior India swimming. Yeah. And when did you decide that filmmaking would be an easier path to follow? No idea when it happened to me. <laughs> I didn't decide. Uh, filmmaking decided on me. Receiving the biggest cheer so far was the main man himself, Milka Singh. Milka! And then Sonam, looking resplendent as a palm of violet. Great dress. Thank you. Where's it from? Uh, Barbara, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, 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 um, I like it, so I wore it. <laughs> How are you feeling about tonight, seeing yourself on screen? I don't know. <laughs> I'm really nervous because I haven't seen the film yet, so I'm uh, I'm excited and I'm nervous, but I'm I'm happy. I'm happy that people are gonna watch the film today. <laughs> Just one man to go, the star of the film, my future husband, Mr. Fahan Akhtar. Time for me to turn on the charm. Fahan, Fahan, Fahan. Very disappointed that you didn't run here this evening. Well, well, they stopped me from running. <laughs> um, when we spoke to the director yesterday, he said you didn't just play the part, you became the part. Tell me, how intense was it preparing for the role of Milka Singh? Um, yeah, it, it was pretty intense. I mean, it was important to, uh, to really... Uh, transform myself into being an athlete mm -hmm. you know it, it, there's no point in pretending you can't really you know I mean there's a certain body language and a certain kind of energy that they exude which is very different from how we are mm -hmm. on, on, in our daily life so it was a lifestyle change and you did lots of training lots of running oh, yeah absolutely a lot of it yes. and lots of growing of the hair uh, a lot of growing of the hair facial long hair yes and evidently a touch of self-harm when you were filming Bog Milka Bog, you must have been also producing Fukre at the time, right? How do you separate your head out with all that? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, there, there seem to be some kind of compartments inside the brain that are functioning smoothly. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, when I started preparing for Bhag Milka Bhag, I also went and released Dawn 2 <laughs> at the same time. So there were many things going on. What's more rewarding? Is it producing or acting? Or directing? Or um, no, I mean, I think there's, there, there is a certain... Um, a different kind of satisfaction when you direct a film, of course. You know, because you're seeing a project through from, from, from inception all the way through to when the audience sees it. It's kind of different as an actor, you come in a little bit later. But, um, I mean, creatively, there, there, it, it serves the same purpose, which is to make try and make a good film. So there we have it, two and a half hours of waiting around outside the Mayfair Hotel in Mayfair. Uh, and then a crazy five minutes when all the stars get out of the car at once. Uh, I'm very happy. That I managed to talk to Farhan Akhtar and that he was impressed with my little knowledge of Hindi, Tora Tora. Uh, Sonam Kapoor, she looked beautiful, wearing a very lovely dress made by Barbara, Barbara Streisand, we're not too sure. Uh, and then of course the director again, man of few words, uh, and of course the running man, Milka Singh, the flying Sikh, although he was absolutely a man of very minimal words. Uh, so there we have it, the red carpet uh, is probably going to be sweeped off, hoovered off uh, and rolled away for another Bollywood premiere. I think now it's time for me, Nat, to barg Nat Barg. <laughs>